Okay, so I'm watching uh, the Elimination Chamber, and I'm going to do a live reactions video for this, which, um, you know, it's not going to be very good because it's going to be me on my own, and uh, not all the guys and stuff, but I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. I've uh, got the Elite stream, so it's in good quality, and uh, it's legal. <laughs> and I have a text message. But yeah, should be good. Opening match is Big Show versus Alberto Del Rio. That was really weird. Uh, I can't roll the R's anyway. <laughs> so I'm really not sure about Del Rio as a face. Not working for me. But um, just before this, they showed the match that Big Show and Jericho had on SmackDown, and that was really, really good. Jericho is a man. <laughs> can't wait to see him tonight in the chamber. And I think they said he's now got the record for most appearances in the chamber uh, after tonight, so that's pretty cool. Well, he actually broke the stream with his uh, massive announcement. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good stuff. I'll check in after this match. Okay, Dario retains as expected. It was okay. It was some pretty good stuff in it. It wasn't as bad as I was thinking it would be. Their match at the Rumble was pretty fun, but uh, yeah, Dario won. He tried to do this Enziguri spot with a bucket and completely missed. <laughs> so he just did it again. <laughs> and that's how he won with the cross arm breaker after that. Pretty good match. So we just saw a trailer for G.I. Joe Retaliation, which really surprised me because I thought, you know, The Rock's a WWE Champion, are they really going to, you know, promote his movies? Oh wait, yes they are, yeah, that's probably the only reason he is the WWE Champion. Yeah, so we got a nice little sneak peek of G.I. Joe, and it looked shit, and um, Bruce Willis was in it, which just goes to prove Kevin Smith's theory that sometimes Bruce Willis will do dog shit for money. And now we got Cesaro. I don't know who this is. Oh wow, the stars of G.I. Joe Retaliation, they're really shoving this down our throats. Sickening. Um, this is really awesome to see Dwayne. Oh, fuck off. Now we've got Cesaro versus Miz, looking forward to this match. <coughs> So we had a pretty good match between The Miz and Cesaro uh, going on and then <laughs> Miz went to kick Cesaro, Cesaro blocked his leg, swung out from underneath him and he ended up kneeing him in the balls. So Cesaro said to the referee, he just hit me in the balls. So they disqualified him and so Cesaro retains. Um, a good match and um, a good way for the heel to retain the title I guess but Cesaro was so hench, I just felt like it could have been more of a Dramatic ending. Jesus. Daniel Bryan's beard is ridiculous. But yeah, I feel like a more dominant win would have been better for Cesaro, but there you go. Miz, he's just not really taken off as a face as much as I think they want him to. I'm a big fan of Miz, though. I know a lot of people hate him. I actually like him a lot, so I hope he finds his spot. You know, These two are great. That's ironic, because from where I stand, you look like one of the seven <laughs> Brian always tries so hard not to laugh in these, it's great. <laughs> We're currently eating some blueberry wheats, which are awesome. And I got some chicken cooking, so that'll be nice. Oh wow, so. Welcome to the belly of the, be belly of the beast. It's the Elimination Chamber match now. There's another f like three matches to go. Interesting, but <laughs> but why not? I guess. Um, yeah, I guess I've got no problem with that. That's cool. Looking forward to seeing the match anyway. So I think. Um, I mean, this used to happen anyway because there used to be two chamber matches every year. And I still feel like that there probably shouldn't be these themed pay per views. I don't know if they sell better than the non themed one you used to. I guess that might be why they do it. But I remember when like an elimination chamber or a hell in the cell was like. 
wow, you know, we don't see them very often, but now you know when it's going to happen every year, kind of thing. Right, unless someone dies during this match, I'm just going to check back in at the end of it, but for now I just have to say that um, Brian and Jericho are opening the chamber. Yes! Awesome. Little tiny nerd markout for two of the best sports entertainers of all time, in my opinion. Two of the best wrestlers of all time. So uh, Orton, Mark Henry, Kane and Jack Swagger are already in. But Orton's about to go in. Which leaves us with Jericho and Daniel Bryan to start off the match. Should be epic. Can't wait. Brilliant match. So good. Um, the ending was fantastic. I'm really glad Orton didn't win and Jack Swagger won because uh, he needs it more. And the new direction they're taking his character and you know the him as a wrestler is really good. So yeah, that was awesome. Really happy with that. And the, the match itself was great as well. Some awesome moments. Uh, not as brutal as the earlier chamber matches, but they can't really do that now. But they worked around it so well. Jericho really held the match together. He was involved in some of the best stuff of the match, and especially the ending. Brilliant stuff. Okay, I decided to actually go in bed and watch the rest of the show. Uh, Punk vs Rock is about to start now. Great video package to build that matchup. So where were we? Uh, the Shield vs Cena, Ryback and Sheamus. Uh, it was a pretty good match. Uh, not amazing, but you know, uh, really entertaining. And the Shield one, which I think was the right move. Very cool. Then we had Dolph Ziggler vs Kofi Kingston. A really, really good, uh, like four or five minute match. Something like that. Some good stuff in that. Uh, Big E Langston, just no. Just no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Caitlin versus Tamina Snooker, terrible match. There was nothing wrong with it. It was just like the crowd just took a shit over it because they didn't care. It hasn't been built up, and you know Caitlin's got hardly any screen time, like on Raw or anything, since she won the Divas title. So why why are they meant to care? Shame, really, because it was uh, it was an okay match. It wasn't great, but you know the crowd just weren't re responding to anything anyway. So so yeah. <laughs> the people's champion CM Punk came up with the title, it was pretty cool. So yeah, I'll check in at the end of the night and uh, tell you what I think of the main event. Looking forward to it. Alright, this is the point where it ceases being a live reactions video because it is now 9 o'clock at night, the day after. So yes, I fell asleep and... <clears throat> oh, I fell asleep after the show. I mean, I paid £4 for that stream, there's no way I was going to fall asleep during it, but... The show ended, I was in bed, and I thought, fuck it. So <laughs> I went to sleep. Um, so The Rock vs. CM Punk was an awesome match. I really enjoyed it. It was everything I wished that it had been at the Royal Rumble. I still thought the Royal Rumble match was really good, but their match at Elimination Chamber was a lot better, I think. Still a lot of rest holds for The Rock, you know, which was within, like, four minutes. Like, Punk had him in, like, a chin lock for ages. It was just like, uh, you know... <laughs> And of course, the whole show was just littered with like GI Joe retaliation trailers and stuff and promotion. It's just like, ugh. but it was really good. the The last kind of like five five minutes or so were like classic rock, classic rock pay per view matches, just like false finishes and like just the crowd was really into it and stuff. Really entertaining. Of course, the rock was going to win, and uh, it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say. I thought it was a really solid show. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would for sure. I'm looking forward to Raw to see what will happen next. Will we see The Undertaker? Will CM Punk, you know, be facing The Undertaker or will he be facing someone else? Will Dolph Ziggler get added to the Del Rio Swagger match? Who knows? We shall see um, on Raw, I guess. The camera's far too close to my face. There you go. That was my somewhat clunky live reactions video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.